Duncan playing on the right side of midfield. Peter Grant in the middle, marking Ian Ferguson of Rangers. There's John Miller. Running into Butcher. There's Paul McStay. Back it goes to Grant. Well, they kept the shot down well, Peter Grant. Still to find it out this season. This isn't a bad effort. Taking the pass from Paul McStay, and the shot goes wide. McCarthy, Aiken again, and the pressure from Brown. Aiken's header, here's Joe Miller, he's away from Butcher. Oh, Miller shot off target, but quite clearly now Celtic are trying to use the pace on the ground of Joe Miller against Terry Butcher. Carthy goes up, Anton Rogan is also going into the box. Far flung corner, there's Roy Aiken, a good chance now for Celtic. The ricochet falls kindly, and ball goes behind Tom Butcher. Mark McGee looking hopefully for a handball decision. The ball ricocheted about the six yard box. Wow, real danger for Rangers here, and Aiken did well driving it across. Coyce across to Brown. Trying to take on Aiken. The Celtic captain wins it but concedes the throw. Well, no, indeed it's a Celtic throw taken quickly. Here's Peter Grant. That's intended for Joe Miller. A great interception by Goff. Stevens in trouble there. Joe Miller! in defence in a cup final. They're on the scoreline now, Joe Miller's goal, putting something ahead of his Mark Walters. It's off the line by White. A miraculous stop on the line. Rangers hitting back instantly, and suddenly the cup final has come to life. The shot goes beyond Bonner. We fully expected that to go in, and Terry White appeared for the clearance. Aiken, that's for Miller again, no offside flag. Back it goes to Aiken. The far post it goes, there goes Buttons. Off the line by Stevens. Well, Gary Stevens redeeming himself after the error which gave Celtic the lead. A great ball this from Roy Aiken. Tommy Buttons popping up at the far post, beating Woods, but Stevens was there. There's Gary Stevens, who won a cup medal for Everton in 1984. Ian Ferguson won one for St. Martin two years ago. Here's Walters. Good flowing move this from Rangers. Fine cross and excellent goalkeeping by Bonner. Well, Pat Bonner celebrates his 29th birthday next week. And his experience called upon here with an excellent decision and a good piece of handling. Well, the clock to the enemy now for Rangers. They throw everything forward and attempt to level the match. There's Gary Stevens, that came off Tommy Burns. Drinkles head on. Agonizingly across the face of the goal. And turned away brilliantly there by White. Too long for Bonner. Drinkles did well. A looping header back over Pat Bonner. Oh, look how well Derek White does here. Scotting the ball to safety. McCarthy coming for it, there's Butcher. Now McCoy's. There was no offside flag. That was Rangers' best chance of the match. Ball going high from McCarthy. Butcher wins this superbly. 
goes straight through to Ali McCoy, it's normally so deadly, and he slices it all over the bar. It's on Brown. Good job for the attack again. Anton Rogan's headed out. Here's Gary Stevens preparing to launch the long throw into the box, looking for Butcher and Goff. There's Butcher! There was a foul on Pat Bonner as the ball was in the air. He was taken out of the play. This will be clear, I'm sure, for the replay. Just watch Pat Bonner here for this. There's David Cooper backing into him. And that's why the goal has been chopped off. Here's Joe Miller, the Mr. Superfit of the Cup Final. And just with that, he shows how tired he's become, tripping over the ball. And there goes the final whistle. Celtic have won the Cup. Billy McNeil hugs Benny Rooney in delight. The treble hopes of Celtic, a range of dash. Celtic have won the Cup for the second year in a row. Now, as Roy Aiken goes up to collect the Scottish Cup, 